Most people travel to enrich themselves culturally or get away from their daily grind for some relaxation. He's a huge reason why I need a vacation. But others have a more, dare we say, extreme purpose for embarking on a journey to new pastures. Hello everyone, and welcome to Finna Travel. Today, we're going off the rails to share with you the world's most dangerous, extreme tourist attractions. That sounds crazy. Number 10, Volcano Boarding, Nicaragua. Snowboarding seem a little too mainstream for your inner thrill seeker? Allow us to turn up the heat a little bit, quite literally. In Nicaragua, a form of boarding for those who enjoy a more intense rush and maybe prefer warmer weather called volcano boarding started around 2002. Allegedly created by Zoltan Estava of National Geographic, it's pretty much exactly like snowboarding, except with a lot more risk. Falls aren't uncommon, with scrapes and bruises on the gritty volcanic sand being a normal occurrence. But if you thought people only board on inert volcanoes, you'd be wrong. Cerro Negro in Nicaragua is one of the most popular places for this sport and hasn't erupted since 1999. But other, more daring and perhaps foolish thrill seekers opt to board down actively erupting volcanoes like Mount Yasur in Indonesia. We can't stress enough the importance of safety gear if you dare to try this extreme sport. Bones! Number 9. Devil's Pool, Zambia The Victoria Waterfalls is the world's largest waterfall, and it alone is a great reason to visit the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, where this majestic fall rests. At 354 feet high and dumping over 500 million cubic meters of water per minute, Victoria Falls is undoubtedly the prime example of the power and majesty of waterfalls everywhere. Well, did you look at that? But for those who want a more up-close and personal view of the fall's might, the Devil's Pool offers a staggering view from the very edge of the waterfall. This pool naturally formed at the edge of the cliff the waterfall runs down and is usually open between mid-August and mid-January. However, varying water levels can make the pool highly unsafe. Thus, those who dare sit in this pool are risking a plunge down the beautifully terrifying gorge. Acrophobes may want to avoid this one. Number 8. Death Valley Straddling the border of Nevada and California, this national park is the lowest, hottest, and driest place in the United States. Averaging a temperature well over 90 degrees for most of the year, reaching well over 100 degrees in the summer, MAN IT IS HOT OUT HERE! It's very easy to get dehydrated here as the air is extremely dry, and anyone heading here should load up with plenty of water. Activities here include things like hiking, cycling, sightseeing, and camping. Despite the hostile climate, Death Valley is a photo opportunity hotspot, with its many sand dunes and mountain ranges providing amazing desert photos. When the day is done and you're settling down at night, Death Valley's cloudless night sky provides a stunning stargazing opportunity. You'll be dazzled with the sight of the Andromeda and Triangulum galaxies. Whoa. That is stellar! Wow! Number 7. El Caminito del Rey, Spain A hike through the wilderness not enough to satiate your inner adventurer? Perhaps a hike down Little King's Path is more your speed. Dubbed by many to be the world's scariest hike, El Caminito del Rey is located in the Choro Gorge of Spain and is known for its aerial pathway that literally puts you on the walls of a mountain. Are you trying to kill me? Originally created for the transportation of workers between two hydraulic power plants, it fell into disrepair before being renovated for extreme hiking. The path is narrow, and it's a 300 plus foot drop if you lose your footing, so if you get vertigo easily, tread very, very carefully. The entire hike consists of boardwalks and forest trails, and the reward for those brave enough to tackle this hiking challenge? Absolutely breathtaking views of the ravine and El Choro. Be sure to bring your best gear and plenty of bravery. Maybe even say a prayer because this trail has claimed at least five people who have never returned from their hike. Number 6. pre stolen Base Jumping, Norway Adrenaline junkies will surely get their fill from this high-octane activity at what is considered one of the world's most dangerous cliffs. Also known as the pulpit and the preacher's chair, Prikestolen is a cliff in Norway rising 1,982 feet above sea level and is a hotbed for the extreme sport of base jumping. Base jumping involves a person literally jumping off of a very high place such as a cliff or a tall building and landing via parachute. No, I'm good. 
Thanks. Or sometimes even gliding on a wingsuit before parachuting. Definitely not recommended for someone who's afraid of falling. But even if you keep your feet planted firmly on the ground, Brika Stolen Peak is still incredibly dangerous to traverse, with some people not making it home after an accident. But for those brave enough to reach the top of this imposing cliff, incredible photo opportunities await, with awe-inspiring photos waiting to be taken of the landscape as seen from the top. If you happen to find yourself taking such a photo, share it with the world and let everyone know how brave you are. Number 5. Volcano Bungee Jumping, Chile Volcano boarding not extreme enough for you? First of all, you're crazy. Second of all, then let me introduce you to volcano bungee jumping. Bungee jumping by definition is extreme enough on its own, but imagine doing that in the crater of an active volcano. Villa Rica Volcano in Pucan, Chile is an active volcano which is frequently visited by tourists for activities such as helicopter flights over the crater and even skiing in the winter. But some extreme daredevils stare in the face of a molten end and bungee jump into the crater, coming closer than I'm sure most people would ever want to be to lava. This can also be done from a helicopter for an even bigger thrill. So if you've got $1,995 burning a hole in your pocket, no pun intended, and the true soul of a daredevil, good luck. Number 4. Ice Diving, Antarctica If heat and heights aren't your thing, Maybe a good old dive is more your speed. Oh, did you think this was a normal dive? I mean an ice dive in Antarctica where the waters can be as cold as 35 degrees. If you're an experienced diver looking for a thrill or want to knock something off your bucket list, you can go on a cruise to Antarctica and see the massive icebergs and crystal blue waters of this frozen continent. And if you cruise with waterproof expeditions, you'll have the opportunity to dive into the water with professionals and see just how deep those icebergs truly go. No, not the ones on the internet, you'll go nuts if you try that. It's a truly marvelous experience, as long as you stay safe and listen to all instructions from your dive professional. Number 3. Insanity, Nevada How fitting, a ride whose name describes just about everything on this list. In Las Vegas, Nevada, extreme thrill seekers have an opportunity to ride Insanity, a thrill ride at the top of Stratosphere Tower. Unlike the usual roller coaster, which can be extreme in their own right, this ride is basically a long arm riders are strapped into that extends well out over the edge of the 900 foot tall tower, giving riders an awesome view of the city below, and possibly a heart attack if you don't like heights. What happens next? Why it spins! round and round like a top, giving you a dizzy buzz. Like like As of March 2023, this ride has been off the list of activities available for visitors, but there's still a possibility it may reopen, so if you're a thrill ride enthusiast, you may yet be able to tick this one off your list. Number 2. Dinner in the Sky, Belgium Who thought a nice dinner could be so exhilarating? Starting as a novelty in Belgium, Dinner in the sky is exactly what it sounds like, a nice dinner at a table while suspended 150 feet in the air. The concept was originally created by marketing company owner David Geisels and bungee jumping organizer Stefan Kirkhoffs, because of course a bungee jumper would be involved in such an idea. Those are crazy people. After its first iteration, they got calls from all over the world from people wishing to replicate this unusual dining experience, and soon, pop-up locations in 60 separate nations appeared. So if dinner at home isn't as fun as it used to be, try a dinner date in the sky! Number 1. Annapurna Mountain Climbing, Nepal And to finish today's list, we have a classic, mountain climbing. It's probably one of the most well-known extreme activities of all, but just like levels in a video game, some are harder than others. And according to many, the mountain Annapurna in Nepal is the world's hardest mountain to climb, with grim numbers to back it up. With a 30% mortality rate among successful climbs, Annapurna is a true monster of mountains with rough terrain and extremely steep faces. Combine that with its remote location making rescue operations difficult and you have the creme de la creme of extreme tourism on this mountain. We cannot stress enough that you only try this truly daunting challenge if you have lots of experience climbing mountains. But if you watch this video and one day find yourself having conquered this peak, take a picture and enjoy flexing in the comments. 
check out this video of the top 10 rudest countries in the world. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.